During this video segment, I will show you how to prepare your standards lists for uploading. Before doing this, make sure that we don't have those standards already available to you. So if you go to Benchmarks, Available Standards, and if you choose your program, so let's say in this case I want to go to Health, and uh, let's just do a search on health and maybe they are Georgia standards so you could go ahead and view to see if those are indeed the list that you uh, need to have or if there's another list that will work really nicely for your school so the easiest and quickest way and probably the most affordable time wise is to go to the available standards listing and find a list to use however if you have a specific list of standards that you want uploaded and you verify that we don't have it already, you have two options to get that content into curriculum track. So let's say that it's this list right here and I want to get this into my copy of curriculum track underneath um, my world languages area. You can send this to us and we can give you a quote of how much we would charge to upload this for you. We try to do that very, very affordably, and most schools utilize that service rather than doing it on their own. However, if you do have a clerical person uh, that has the capacity and the ability to do what I'm gonna show you, um, this is another option, and that is for you to take this content, for your school to take this content, and to put it into Excel and prepare it for us. Before doing, this, and that's really what I want to show you in this video, how to go about doing that. Before doing that, I want to explain real quickly the structure in curriculum tracks. So, for instance, if I go to, uh, let's go to our science standards for this school. There are three levels. Um, it's kind of almost like a hierarchy where we have at level one our strands, level two is our performance standards, and level three is the benchmarks. One analogy that I like to use is if you think of a family tree. And in your family tree you have grandparents. Each of those grandparents then has children who are the parents and each of those parents then has children as well. So grandparents in blue, parents in red, and then the grandchildren in orange itself. So in the analogy that we're looking at, we have strands are the grandparent level, we have standards as the parent level, and then benchmarks as the child level. And in curriculum track, within the units itself, teachers will attach to this bottom level or benchmarks, the child level, if you will. So again, grandparent, parent, child. So that's the structure that we need to have you prepare. So let's go ahead and look at, once again at um, our document that we were working on, which is right here. That's one of the challenges is you have a lot of windows open. So let's close that. And so in this case, I'm going to use these as my grandparents. And we'll use, um, I'm sorry, this as my grandparents. We'll use this as our parents and then these as our children. So the way in which we need to do that then is, first of all, uh, let's try and have two documents. So oh, that's not going to work great. So we're just going to have to kind of go back and forth. So in column A, we're then going to say uh, these are going to be our K. Uh, let's see, and these are modern languages. So let's just say ML. Dot K. We have to have a label for each of these three items. So then these are going to be our kindergarten standards. The next item I'm going to put in is notice that there's K.1.1.1.2 and so forth. So these all are K.1s. So then I'm going to say ML for modern language dot K for kindergarten dot one. And I didn't mean to put that extra row in there, so I'm going to right-click, delete that row out. And notice that I have to go on to column C. Column A is for the label for the strand. Column B is the description for the strand. Then we're going to go on to column C and D 
are going to be what we're going to use for the standards and column E and F for the benchmarks. So I have my label and then what we're going to do is we're going to say communication and so I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Hopefully you don't have to type it out. Uh, you can copy and paste it in. By the way, notice I didn't paste right in that cell. I like to paste it up here because it kind of removes the formatting for us. And then I'm going to copy this and we're going to have 1.1 1 .1. and notice that there's four of them over here. So one quick thing that you can do is if you click on this bottom, that little square there, and drag down, it puts the one, two, three, four for you. Uh, just a few little tips here. So then I can go ahead and again, I'm going to click in here, but I'll paste up here uh, because it removes the formatting. I strongly recommend that. Otherwise, you might end up with having your standards be a little bit uh, messed up from a formatting standpoint and we can continue on down. Now, one thing about it is it is kind of tedious work and notice that it messed that particular cell up. That's okay, you don't really have to worry about that. You could always come back to that later. Um, but one thing you can do in Excel is if you select this and go Format Cells and you can unwrap the text. Um, so now that that's done, now I can move on to the next, which is ml.k.2, which is going to be communication, interpret, and so forth. And so I can paste that in here. And then again, I'm going to go ahead and put in .1, .1. There's only one of them, so that's all I'll put there. And then I'd go on to three and so forth. So you're going to be using six different columns. These will be your strand label description, benchmark label description, and bench performance standard, I should have said. Performance standard, bench uh, label and description, and then benchmark label and description. And what I'd strongly recommend is rather than get this all done, maybe just do maybe 10, 20, 30 lines and send it to our support team so that we can review it for you. We'll do that free of charge. We'd rather catch any mistakes that you might be making before you make those. And ultimately, when you have this all done, then go ahead and send it to support once again, and we'll actually upload it for you at no cost. Um, we actually prefer to do that rather than have you do it yourself because if there's any little glitch, again, we'll probably catch it, whereas it can cause some frustrations for you. So this is how you can prepare this file. And again, very, very few schools actually do this. Most are able to find the standards they need in our available standards listing. If they're not, uh, the next largest group then would actually have us prepare this data for them because we'll do it very inexpensively, um, sometimes for around $70. Um, so it's going to take your clerical people quite a few hours to uh, prepare it themselves with uh, what I just showed in this video. But again, if you want to do it on your own, this 